What is going on, everybody? I hope you're all doing well, having a great whatever you're having, whether that be day, night, morning, I don't know, evening, perhaps? Um, anyways, we have the Canucks here, who are 30th in the league, 26, 32, and 6. We are 31, 24, and 5, and if I remember correctly, we checked the standings, and it wasn't looking great for us, but it wasn't looking awful. So, yeah. We are currently in a wild card spot, um, so that's that's decent, you know. We're right there. We have oh, we have 60 games played too. Whereas Montreal is 64, but they are also five points up on us. So uh, yeah. Anyway, let's just see what we can do here. We aren't out of the playoff race, though. That's for sure. We still have a shot. Can't wait to be lit up by Vancouver. First period, love it. Second period. Great stuff. Great stuff. This one's a guaranteed win. I'm just gonna simulate it. Okay, we didn't have a great performance there, I'll be honest, but a win's a win, so I'm not gonna complain. An 896. Yucky. All right, that's fine. We can improve on that. It's, you know, it's <laughs> something that we can we can make a little bit better, maybe. Same with that 324. Not the most, you know, attractive thing in the world, but it's definitely something that we can we can work to improve. So, we'll... Get right on that. We are now 11th in the league, actually. 34, 24, and 5. Sim game against the Rangers. That's an L. Right, you gonna... take a look at some no, I'm good, James. Score. I don't want to know what's going on around the league. So we got Chicago, who is... Wow, this is a intense matchup here. One spot above us in the standings right now. Records are very similar, but they have played... What is that? Three more games than us, I think. So, yeah, let's go ahead and jump into this one. Hopefully the simulation treats us nicely. We can hope anyway. I mean, I am 74 overall, so 1-1, one, one, that's okay. 3-2, and they have 27 shots. Okay, we can make this work. We can do this. All right, Manny, let's get it done. We are down by one, which, you know, as per prior episodes, I would put us in favor of winning if we're only down by one heading into the third with the way this squadron performs in the final 20. So, I am... Fairly confident coming into this one, except with Patrick Kane and Debrinkat. That's a huge save there. Scared the crap out of me, I will be honest. Miller. Oh, it's three. It's going to be a sick pass, obviously. Yeah, right up to our guy, over to Eichel, who stops up a bit. And not too sure what that was, Jackie boy. But maybe, I don't know, just learn from that experience, perhaps. Here's Johnny. Right down the middle. That's going to be taken away by Erasmus Dahlin. Love to see it. Plekanov up to Eichel. Great pass in the middle there to Dahlin. Here we go, Savers. Come on. Nice try. Oh, pass in the middle. Goes for a six shot. Man, I... Okay. So here's my story about fantasy hockey this year. I normally always talk about it. This year, um, I'm in. I'm in a league with some other YouTube guys. Like, Tactics is in there and stuff like that. That was a humongous hit and it was on threes. What an absolute sick individual. Whoever laid that hit. Anyway. But yeah, so I'm in a league... Um, it was a 50 USD buy-in, and I forgot the draft, so I auto-drafted. Yep, that's my life story. That's my TED Talk. Thanks for listening. My team's okay. I mean, it drafted Kucherov, who is now out. It drafted Shifley, who has been suspended and now is in protocol. And it drafted Sebastian Aho, so that's pretty solid. I got Vince Dunn on there. Uh, Devin Taves, who's on IR as well. Nick Backstrom, who's on IR. <laughs> I had Varlamov, who was on IR. Um, so I won the first week, somehow. So that was awesome. Second week, not so lucky. Um, I've picked up some, some great players, though, along the way. Like, players that have been doing very well. So, like, uh, I f I'm going to butcher his name again. But, like, uh, Mangia Payne, Mangia Pane, one of the two. I picked him up, and he's doing very well. So that's a plus. Uh, my team name is the Auto Draft Legends for obvious reasons. I've also picked up Craig Anderson like a while ago as the Buffalo goaltender. And that guy is, he's doing well right now. When this video comes out, that might no longer be the case. Because there will be several Sabres games in that time. But, I mean, as of right now, guy's doing very decent. I also picked up guys like, um, oh, I picked up Poljarvi at the beginning of the year. He was a free agent. I was like, nah, absolutely not. And everyone called me an idiot. Well, that's not true. About, like... 60-40, I would say, because uh, X-Tech posted a tweet. I traded him in exchange for uh, Zach Hyman. So I gave him Brock Besser for Hyman. And I still think that's a good trade. I, I think, you know, I'm 
coming out ahead currently. So I'll keep you guys posted on my fantasy journey as I go through it. And hopefully the auto draft legends can have a, a sick comeback. So yeah, it's, it's just really going to be, I don't know, an interesting one this year for me. Because I didn't even get to draft my own team. Well, I definitely had the opportunity and I just, you know, screwed up big time. I also picked up Zach Cassian because he was doing pretty good as well. I just straight up dropped Radulov because I'm not, I have no patience right now. I mean, I'm, you know, trying to to make stuff happen right here, right now. I'm not thinking about the future in this fantasy right now. The one thing that sucks about fantasy though is that, well, besides all the injuries and like protocol and everything this year is that um, just in general, if one team has like eight more games than you that week, good luck, you're screwed. Like my players are doing very well this week. Doesn't matter because we have like nine or 10 less games than the other team. Patrick Kane, that's gonna be a save on the mitten. Get that out of our zone. Good stuff, boys. So we got eight minutes to go here. And, I mean, we've had some decent chances, to be fair. So it's not like they are all over us or anything. Like, we are definitely getting our fair share of scoring chances. We just can't seem to capitalize on them. Okay, so sorry, guys. I didn't comment at the time because I was too busy being sick to my stomach. But I'm pretty sure that... Who are you? 7-1. This guy, Vicky, is never going to be the same after this. So he goes, gets hit... Gets injured and then wait for it. It gets worse. What's going on here? What's all that about? Yeah, he's he's done. Like, I'm sorry, but he's never going to have another career game. Another floating hand through the mitten. That's good stuff. So let's see it in some real time here. Gets hit and boom. Bada bing, bada boom. And it just snaps back. It's absolutely sick. It really is. Kyle Luck Pozo to Casey Middlestad to Miller. In the middle. No. Oh, that was our chance. That's so lame. Whatever it is. Why was I hugging the post? I don't remember that happening. Whatever. Kirby Doc gonna go for a shot. Okay, I, I sort of came out a little bit further that time, I felt like. You know, I'm trying to challenge it a bit here, so that's nice. Hopefully, I can keep doing that. And I've also tried to smother it this game once, which is another improvement, because normally I would just save it and just let it sit there right in front of my net, like it was nobody's business. What's going on here? Poke check? Nope. Oh, okay. What's, what's this all about? What's this all about? Huge save. Pass that to you. Should not have done that. Do not care. Kubalik with a deke. That will be saved. I'm not passing that one out. Because good old Curbs is right up in front of me. And I'm not down to get scored on right now. Considering, you know, we are losing by one. Um, only two and a half to go here. I think I made the right call. Oh boy, they won the draw. There's another oh boy. Oh boy guy returns. Oh boy. I just, I, I can't stop. I don't know what it is. I would imagine that I'm about to get taken out fairly soon, but I have made a fair share of saves. So we are definitely above a 900 save percentage right now, considering we are coming in with 27 shots against. And I think I remember someone saying one time that an empty net goal actually ended up counting against me. So if that happens again, I'm going to be livid. Oh, there we go. That's my cue. Skate! Hustle! Get off. All right. Nice. There's two. Is it going to let me? Yeah! Let's go! What a goal by the man who has a broken arm, shoulder, whatever that is. His whole, just this whole region is done. And he still manages to come out. Nothing a little icy hot rub won't fix, right? And some duct tape. What a goal. That is huge. I absolutely love that for us. Tie game. Dehan. Oh, don't you dare. Don't you freaking dare. Imagine that. We tie it up. And then they just come in like, nah, I don't feel like going overtime. Which, to be fair, me neither. But... I mean, I don't want to lose because we are sort of fighting for our life with a playoff spot here. We're definitely not guaranteed one, but we are, you know, it, we're, we're floating basically. We could, we could not. 20 seconds to go. Chicago has to find the net, but there's a huge battle going on. Plekhanov going to emerge victorious. Gets it up to Eichel. Goes for a toe drag. If he... How? Referee. What? Give me a break. Oh, it's Mr. Broken Shoulder. Of course it is. What'd he do? What'd he do? Show me. Show me the replay now. I need to know what... Okay, great. That was awesome. We are 10 seconds away from one point. Just get the puck down the ice, please. That is amazing. All right. I think we're essentially guaranteed a point now. So I'm definitely happy with that. I'll take one over none any day of the week. Overtime up next. A little four on three action here. Patty Kane gonna release a backhand. You're wide open there, Ross Mies. Let's go. Cody Eakin carrying it up to center ice. Walks across over to Dalene, who takes a low shot rebound. But Kubalik will be all over that one. Gets it up to Hatrick Kane over the line. 
He's going to go for another weak backhand. He really seems to love those. All right, so we got exactly one loony left in this power play for Chicago. Um, I don't know if we're going to make it through the whole thing, but so far so good, I guess. Tays to Kane. Is he going to go for another backhand? Wouldn't have surprised me. Patrick Kane goes for a toe drag shot. That'll be kicked aside. Taves to Kubalik. Goes for a shot. I Wow, okay, I didn't even see that one. It made it all the way through, but luckily it just missed the net. There's another shot, another save. I am not passing that one out. But penalty's over. We are officially even strength. Eichel in the middle! What kind of shot was that? I know your shoulder is completely done in, but holy crap, dude. I mean, his wrist wasn't looking so pretty either, but, you know, the whole shoulder thing just really, you know, caught my eye. It took away from the rest of it. Patrick Kane tries to sneak by, but he is going to get leveled. Jack Eichel with the puck. Skating it up. Over the line. In the middle to Darlene, who's going to meet Irene. And now again to Darlene. Goes for a weak backhand. Eichel, if he could have got that and picked it up. Shot forehand. Easy goal. But he didn't. Jones now coming in. Going to get rocked as well. Buffalo is just throwing the body around right now. Love to see it. Olofsson loses it. Jones with it. All right, not super confident about what all of that was, but okay. Ah, they finished with 41 shots, let's go. That right there is what I call a 900, and I will take that. Do you got anything to say, James, or are you just gonna tell me about the other scores going on tonight? We'll or nothing at all, oh, there he is. The one point, these are the nights you need two points. Back oh, the zip it. Go. Brandon is in Burlington, how are you, man? I'm doing good, James, how are you? I, I am. Frustrated watching this overall. team sometimes. Yeah, you know. Oh, what? you're frustrated when we're 34, 25, and six. Mild mannered right now. Sure. Am I allowed to do that on yeah, this show? Yeah, hundred percent. What's Jack? Is yours. You know, the game is just faster at ice level than I think a lot of people yeah, uh, it. give it credit for. I don't think a lot of people realize Neutral. that. Neutral. It's gonna take just get a little bit of time to get up to speed. Well, you know what? Uh, you, specifically between the pipes, and to look at that, I'll tell you what. Don't I'm you dare say I play bad. At all, okay. and I think you're right. It's an excellent point. The game is way faster than people realize, mm -hmm. and it has definitely had a learning curve at various points this season for the rookie, for sure. Thanks for the call. We'll get. To, we got a jam. Right. Board, so we got to get to more callers here. Wow! Holy crap! There's only like, well, I mean, two wins <laughs> separate us from Winnipeg, but we also have three overtime losses. Um, to catch up to them, but still that's not like a huge gap between 13 and fourth. So uh, Yeah, we are currently 13th in the league. We're doing all right. I still think that the playoffs are very realistic. That's a huge win 35 25 and 6 uh, Our individual stats are not amazing. That's a gimme. We are 10 8 and 1 with an 896 and 327 However, we are also 74 overall. So we got the Smashville Predators that was a overtime loss I believe and now we are in against Flowrider. So, let's check uh, the standings again quick here and just see how we sit as of now. Still wild carding. Um, we're right there. Oh, wow, this is a very important game. This is a huge game. Okay. Yeah, we, we need to win this. This is a crucial game, so why not start the 74 overall goaltender? That sounds like a game plan I would follow. First period, 1-0. Second period, 2-2. Two, two. All right. Let's hop in. Here we go. We're going retro v retro this game. Two reversals. And we have a 2-2 hockey game here against Florida. An important game. Wow. All right, we can do this. I, I know that, you know, the, well, we did end up scoring, to be fair. We ended up tying it up. That was actually kind of scary. I thought he was going to somehow cheese that on me, but luckily managed to catch it with the oven mitt. Let's go, Miller. You got this. Stops up. Good stuff. Look at this guy. What a legend. Oh my word, Miller with the play of the year. Great shot too, but didn't make it through, unfortunately. Great effort, nonetheless. Jonathan Huberto coming the other way. This guy's scary. He is very good at what he does for a living. Um, incredibly good, actually. Aaron Ekblad gets it up to Huberto. Over the line to Barkov now in the middle, but Hag will prevent that shot from getting through. Here's Jackery. Stops up. Nice. I like it. I like it. Great stuff. Bobrovsky's playing unbelievable right now, though. What you got for me? Oh, nice. Oh, I thought he was going to lose it, but he didn't. He wins it back. Now down to Hornfist, who has it in the slot. Back to Ekblad. Goes to Uyghur. 
Holy crap, a lot of passing going on here. Hornfist spins off his guy, gets it back to Uyghur, who's gonna lose it. I think they were trying to be a little too fancy there, but I am definitely not upset about it because it resulted in us getting the puck out of the zone, and now we are getting a very real scoring chance. Huge win behind the net. That battle has been taken for Buffalo, and Eichel is... Okay, he kept it in. That's huge also. Win that battle. Olafson coming in. Ah, uh, Ekblad got it. All right, that's okay. Palmieri coming back this way now. Is he going to take a shot or is he going to pass? Is he going to pass it to Ekblad who's going to take a shot? That will be saved. I was not able to really control the rebound there, but luckily our defense handled that one. Miller, I'm going to blame Robertoy on that one. I don't know why I keep saying Robertoy, but that's his new name. He's no longer Roberto, and he is Robertoy. Dat boy, Robertoy. Oh yeah, Plekhanov! That would have been huge. Palmieri coming in on Dap Boy. What's going to happen? What's going to happen? Oh, he gets it. That's a pass. I don't know where it is. I got it, though. You're open. Well, kind of. I mean, open enough. All right, great pass up to Vicky. Here we go. Plekhanov. A great deke? What a shot. Man, well, well, the shot wasn't great, but the deke was tremendous. Draw win. Miller goes. What a tip. And Bobrovsky is absolutely standing on his head right now. This is disturbing. Cousins loses it. Ekblad now with a pass up the wing to Palmieri. We are under nine minutes to go in the third period now. Still 2-2. Lots of offense has been generated, though, for both teams so far. But I guess, yeah, both goalies are doing a good job of keeping this one even. Verhege coming back. Over to Tomas Tata. That's going to be in the oven mitt. You're wide open over there. Kind of. Oh, how dare you? Yeah, of course Miller's still going to win that battle. Obviously. What else did I expect? And he also gets hit there. Poor guy. Jeff Skinner going to lose it. All right. Seven and a half to go, guys. Here we go. Come on. Tatar has it. Goes behind the net. What a pass. Barkov, Palmieri. Great job by Buffalo's defense. Don't cough it up there, Skinner. You goofball. All right. Gets it over the line. To Cousins. Goes for a shot. And again, Bobrov's going to make another save. He did kick out quite a big rebound, but our guys were not there for that one. Barkov up the middle to Hornqvist, who is now in over the line. Drops it to Huberdo. Goes for a shot. He rifled that one, but thankfully missed the net. Barkov to Forsling. Down low to Hornqvist. That will be saved. Um, probably shouldn't have passed that, but I did. Tomas in the middle to Barkov. <laughs> what was that, Barkov? Yeah, poke that away. Get out of my face, brother. Plekhanov carrying it up. Over the blue line now. Gets it poked off him, but keeps it. Another great attempt, but Bobrovsky is still playing unbelievable. Can't crack the code. Palmieri over the line, doing a lot of back and forth there. Couldn't make up his mind. And the defense will strip him of the puck. But now Verhege has it. Poke check, get out of my face. What a play. That was huge. All right, good stuff, good stuff. Still 2-2. Two, two. two minutes to go here. Both teams... Getting tons of chances, but once again, the goalies are definitely stealing the show in the third period here. Final minute. Are we going to see two overtimes today? Is that how this is going to go down? Tomas Tata goes for a toe drag shot, but that will be blocked by the defenseman. Great pass. Love that for us. Going to kill some time. Just getting us closer to guaranteeing one point. boy. Let's go Sabres! Over the line. Reinhardt goes for, I'm not too sure exactly what that was, but definitely not what I would have done in that situation. Palmieri gets it taken off him, so we're guaranteed a point. Guaranteed a point. That's great. Three on three. We're not going to start this one four on three, so that is slightly relieving. Oh, Miller! Yeah, let's go! Let's go! This Miller skating away. He doesn't even care. He's like, yeah, whatever. Just no day at the office. Absolute beautician. Huge two points for the Sabres. We needed that, and also, I think, a very solid performance out of yours truly. Yeah, they had 30 shots and only two goals. Second star, baby. 199 GAA and a 933 Savway percentage. You better be. You better be really. He locked it down in that OT frame and I didn't get know, a single shot, James. Support at the other end of the ice and they deliver it. with the OT victory and that's got to be a nice boost for the kid here at this time of the Huge. season to pick up that win for a team that's just had at times a few too many mm. lows and 
You know, the highs have oh, been have there three games as well, on us, just though. wildly inconsistent. And Florida has I one game on us. Okay, rookie, but okay. the team as a whole this year. But not tonight. Tonight's a win. Good stuff. And they do it in OT. And shout out we're, to the we're kid. We're making the playoffs. A big part as to why Thanks, they James. Two points in this one. All right, back to the phones we go. Gerald is online. Should three. be a win. Come on, boys. Come on. Man, I am so up and down with James, that guy. He either insults the living piss out of me, or he's like, you know what? Guy played great tonight. So it's like... It's, well, I, it, there's a very odd occasion where he might be sort of floating in the middle, but for the most part, it's kind of like, yeah or nah. So they put us in against the Panthers again here, um, who are doing well again as well. I'm pretty sure we're tied for them in points just looking at that right now. So let's have a look at the standings once more now that we are going to be going in again here, but we have to keep looking at the standings, man. It matters at this point. We're getting right down to the wire here. So we are still in a wild card spot, 82 points. Yeah, it's, uh, it's coming down to it, but we can do this. There's 12 games left in the season. There's tons of time to, to blow it, and there's tons of time to make this an iconic run for the Sabres. So, yeah, it's, it's coming down to the wire, guys. In fact, next episode, we'll probably know whether or not we're in the playoffs, so be definitely be on the lookout for that. Uh, I appreciate you guys. Hope you're still enjoying the series, and I will see you soon.